Randy McCullough, shares of Charles and Colvard are up 24% this year. So does that mean Moyes Night Jewelry is really catching on? You know, we've had a great year, Greg. We've uh, increased the awareness, got the product out in front of more consumers. And what we're finding when women find out about Moisenite, they, uh, they love the product. Tell me more about Moisenite. It's been around for 100 years, but not everybody knows what it is. First discovered in a meteorite, and uh, we've devised a way that we grow the product. And uh, we, put, we mount it in jewelry. It's being sold on jewelry television and, and others. It's the closest thing to a diamond. It's harder than ruby, sapphire, or emerald. And, uh, has uh, more brightness because it's double refractive, meaning a ray of light coming into a moissanite stone comes out in two rays versus in a diamond one. So it's actually more brilliant than a diamond. And your third quarter sales were brilliant as well. They were up 35%. Um, what are you looking like for the fourth quarter? How are Christmas sales so far? And how much, how important are Christmas sales to Charles and Colbert? The fourth quarter is our largest quarter. Uh, we deliver in front of the Christmas sale, so it's earlier in the quarter that uh, most of our deliveries happen. And uh, we're, we're pleased with the quarter. We're pleased where we're headed. And you recently announced that uh, your products will not be on Zales.com, your forever brilliant line. How will this affect you in 2014? You know, we had a, a nice run right at that time. Uh, Zales uh, elected to, after a couple of days, elected to postpone or, or delay their, uh, their launch. And uh, Hellsberg came out with the product, and Kohl's.com also came out. And uh, the Kohl's sales have exceeded all of our expectations. So you're in Kohl's. Where else are you going to be in 2014 in terms of your coverage of the nation? 2014, uh, about 25% of our sales are done in television sales, uh, Shop NBC, Jewelry Television. We have a couple of other large users, uh, Canada, a few countries like that, that we'll be bringing up in, in the uh, first of the year. Uh, still have uh, some of the details to negotiate. And we also have a, some big boxes that we're talking to. There's a lot of interest in Moisenite right now. What kind of barriers to entry do you have for Moisenite Jewelry? Uh, you guys have it, no one else can, can get it? Is, is it all you right now, you know, all Charles and Colvard? Greg, that is a gr that's the best question you've asked. I've been in the jewelry business 42 years. I was chairman of the Diamond Council of America. The only obstacle of this, that this uh, Moisenite gemstone has is the people behind the counter that have been selling diamonds all their life, and it's tough for them. It's very tough uh, to overcome their, their love and, and their, uh, their investment in diamonds. But Moisenite at one-tenth the price of diamonds, and with today's economy, is absolutely a great, great jewelry uh, item for women, uh, especially those who are conscious of uh, cost and looking for an affordable option. All it's right. the best. Thanks a lot, Randy. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching The Street.